Intergenerational trauma is trauma that is that occurs and is passed down from generation to generation to generation. There are a couple of ways that can happen. So sometimes when people hear that term and hear that explanation, they think, okay, well, it's trauma. Let's say it's domestic violence um, or physical abuse that's happened for the last three generations in my family and happened to me too. Um, there's also something called epigenetics. So when people are traumatized, there's a change that happens at the level of their genes. It's an epigenetic phenomenon by which we mean there are certain um, shifts that happen to their DNA that make certain proteins more likely to be made and others maybe less likely to be made. And these affect their neurochemistry. These are implicated in things like post-traumatic stress disorder. And these genes are passed on from generation to generation to generation. So Rachel Yehuda is one of the earliest researchers to study epigenetics. And what she showed was the children and, and then the children of the children of Holocaust survivors can have what looks like post-traumatic stress disorder, even though they were raised in the United States and didn't experience the Holocaust, and she was able to show specific epigenetic changes that were passed on generation to generation. And this is really, really important because so often in mental health, particularly in the addiction world, um, not too long ago in the eating disorder, eating disorder world as well, there was a shying away of addressing trauma, of addressing post-traumatic stress disorder in primary treatment for your eating disorder or primary treatment for your addiction. And what we found was when you don't address that from the start of treatment, again, in an integrated and coherent way, people aren't able to stay sober to the point where a treatment professional is saying, after a year, we'll address your trauma, or you're not ready for that yet, or we don't know how we would respond or you would respond if we start talking about that. So it's important to know about it. It's important to ask about it. Um, there are many forms of trauma, whether it's physical abuse, sexual abuse, neglect. Um, there's, you know, systemic racism is a form of trauma. Um, minority stress, acculturative stress, all of these are forms of trauma that um, oftentimes don't get talked about at all or not enough uh, in a person's treatment.